Welcome to Good Myth Good More. I love these episodes where we get to know members of the crew. Uh, back when we published the Book of Mythicality, there was a section where crew members talked about their first jobs. That's right. Uh, since then, we've got other crew members who, as it turns out, they've also had first jobs. Everybody's got a first job. Yeah. Let's, but let's, let's first, learn. we're going to donate $1,000 to Color of Change to aid in their mission to help people respond effectively to injustice in the world around us. Color of Change leads campaigns that build real power for black communities. Their work challenges injustice, holds corporate and political leaders accountable, commissions research on systems of inequality, and advances solutions for racial justice to transform our world. Please join us in giving at colorofchange.org. Mm-hmm, all right. Uh, Matt Carney, you there? Hello, sir. Yes, I am here. Hey, hey, Jenna, you there? Yes, I am. All right. Chris, you there? Yes, sir. And Devante, you there? I am here. Good to meet you. <laughs> you know, uh, the weird thing about... We haven't met Devante in person yet. The, uh, it's only been over... Yeah, the whole quarantine video. of it all is that, like... We've, you know, we've added people to the team, including Devante, but uh, yeah, we haven't had the opportunity to meet yeah, in person right, yeah. uh, because of safety protocols. But uh, Devante, it'd be cool to get to know you a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look at your picture while I'm talking to you, so I feel like I'm making more of a connection. It's kind of like a Zoom call. Does that work? It's like a Zoom call, but his internet is frozen. Devante, do you have a picture of me that you can stare at while we're talking to each other? Uh, I think he has a live feed of this. Let him in. Sure. <laughs> oh, what? Soylent? She said, hold on, let me, let me take a s s sip of my Soylent. Sorry, Greg, you're also here. <laughs> We've met. Yeah. All right. All right, let's get to it. We'll start with, um, I was 13 and sold hot dogs at a SEC college football stadium. The first three quarters, I'd have to walk up and down all the steps selling hot dogs, but the last quarter we closed up and I got to stand and watch the rest of the games. My dad would have to pick me up and drop me off, and usually I had to wait a long time to be picked up because of the traffic. Mm. Now the easy, you know, there's the hot dog connection with, which, with, with one of these people that we're not even gonna talk about. Right, you talking about former hot dog on a stick employee, Matt Yeah, yeah, Carney? but we're not gonna talk about his natural connection to hot dogs. I don't think that Carney was near an SEC college football stadium. Now I know What's Jenna. What's SEC stand for? The Southeastern South Eastern Conference. Conference. So Jenna's from Tennessee, University of Tennessee, is uh, in Knoxville. That is where there is an SEC football stadium. So, and Jenna, from what I know about Do Jenna, know she's the kind of person that at 13 would like sell hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? Do just, we know where Devante's from though? I don't know where Devante is. I feel like we need to ask Devante that question. That's only fair, because we know that about most everybody else, right? Devante, where are you from? I'm from the East Coast. Oh, okay, okay, well, okay. The Southern we, East Coast? Don't narrow it down for us. Hmm. <laughs> I'm the, the Southern East Coast. The Southern middle, East Coast. Middle. Oh, okay, all right, okay, so. He, that could be what SEC actually stands for. Uh, uh, so, let's, let's give it to Devonte right off right off the bat. Okay, no pun intended. But we can we can switch these around. All right. Next up, we have pickup sticks. When I was a sophomore in high school, I landed my first job at the fast, fresh Asian cuisine restaurant called Pickup Sticks. We all know that Matt Carney worked at Hot Dog on a Stick. Yes. Yeah, see, we don't even have to talk about it. Someone else is. So there's no way he worked at another stick-based establishment. <laughs> Or is there? <laughs> you know, you gotta start somewhere. Is this, is this Carney screwing well, with us? Well, maybe. You know, it is weird. When we first interviewed him, he said, what's your position on sticks? And then he was talking about the band. Uh, and I was right. like. But that was after a three hour conversation about just the slender wood. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Known as sticks. And I'm like, I can't name a sticks song. Does Stick sing Dust in the Wind? Uh, that's Kansas. <laughs> Kansas. Uh, Come Sail Away. Come Sail Away, okay. Is that Sticks? Sticks. Sticks. Uh, There's no way that it would be written like this if it was not Matt Carney. I got, you gotta go with Carney. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go with it. We gotta go with it. All right. Treasure Hunter. Oh, this is interesting. It was a very short-lived job. But when I was a child, my parents told me that I could keep any spare change or treasure 
that I found around the house, but only if everything was neat and tidy after I was done. I remember finding around $30 that day, but now I realize that this was just their way of getting me to clean the house without calling it cleaning. This is real cute. Um, because, you know, I mean, this is a this really cute parents, picture of Greg. Look, he's like kind of looking up and off. And this person's parents made them dream big. And this, you know, cleaning up around the house made them a treasure hunter. Wow, they might be—they must be disappointed to work at Mythical. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Fancher on this one. Really? You think I, he's got just, a big imagination? I just—I can just see him digging in cushions. I don't know how to interpret that, Chris. How do you interpret that? It's hard to say. I like to dig in a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, like a treasure hunter. Right. So you interpret it as a compliment, yeah. as I intended it to be. I can I can see you shoulder deep in a cushion, just like just digging for some coins. Right. Yeah. But I I'm actually starting to think pick up sticks is Greg because I think this is his kind of snarky sense of humor. I'm just gonna say that. You know, talking about hot dog on a stick, throwing carny. To the wolves, but how would 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 Greg know that Carney was going to be another member of this game? Greg, would you know that? What's the level of coordination here? I didn't know that until the cat list was revealed. Okay, well, yeah. See, I I think I I think that's. I think it's still Greg. By the way, paper boy. Uh, Did not say paper girl. But that's because paper boy is just an occupation that applies to anyone. Okay. Or does it? I don't know. When I was 12, I took my older brother's newspaper route with 21 daily deliveries and 42 Sunday deliveries. My dad had a thing about people having their paper as early as possible on Sunday mornings, and I could almost never get up at 5.30 a.m. to have them all delivered by 6, but he certainly delivered them. Your dad delivered them? In two years, I helped him a total of six times. When I would go around to collect money each week, some people would give me a dollar tip and tell me it was for my dad. I always thought they were joking, but were they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see that the paper delivery is a little bit of a lost art. Mm. So, I'm, I mean, nothing as Carney, but I believe that he is the oldest member of this panel. And and I believe he's flat out told us he was a paper boy. And, and, and but you, we weren't hearing you feel it because there wasn't about a stick Greg involved. Being pick up, pick up, pick up sticks. Yeah, Carney, we remember something else about you. You were a paper boy. Wow, if that's true. If it's true that you are a paper boy, then that is going to be. We're going to talk he, about it as much as hot. Well, he's we're testing. Talk us. about it half no, as much. He's as He's told about us it. before, and he's testing us right now. Because he's like, you're so fixated on the hot dog on a stick, I didn't think you'd remember that, I did tell you. That would be exactly what he's going to say. Okay, all right, okay. United Postal Service mail carrier, it was a very monotonous job, so all the days blend together, but it made even was made even more monotonous by the eerie fact that everybody tells mail carriers the same jokes every single day. Sometimes the same people on consecutive days. No matter what route I was on, I would inevitably hear, you got my million dollar check today? <laughs> I didn't. You can keep the bills. Yeah, that's a good one. I'd go to jail if I did. Oh, see, man, I. You know, it's. Oh, hold on. Being a being a USPS mail carrier is like, that's like a super adult job. Not that anybody here is not an adult, but it's just like that means you had like a little bit of a career before you came here, right? I mean, a mail carrier is like that's not like my first job, you know cleaning up under houses or something like that, like I did. I mean, this is like a career. Someone had a career before Mythical. Well, then Matt Carney would have, have had three careers because I know he's a paper boy. And of course, let's not forget, he's a former employee of Hot Dog on a Stick. I think you've got to switch. Uh, I think that, I think Devante's a mystery man and he was a USPS mail carrier. That's what I think happened. And I think that Devonte, you are the wild card today. And I think that Jenna is the one who uh, was delivering, was uh, selling hot dogs at the University of Tennessee Stadium in Knoxville when she was 13 years old. Hmm. How you feel about this breakdown here? I feel pretty good about it. Okay, Carney, come clean. 
And oh, hold on, before you do, would you mind if I promoted uh, our mythical society? I wouldn't mind. I was asking Carney. I thought you were going to say, do you mind if we promoted you? Um, <laughs> yeah, mythical society is fine too. Uh, could you could you handle the mythical society promotion for us uh, right now? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Okay. Um, reminder: we have even more great content over on the mythical society. The March episode of our carpool vlog series drops today. Join second or third degree to check it out. You can also join for free as an initiate to get sneak peeks at Mythical Society exclusives like Behind the Mythicality, Ooh. Rhett and Link React, Ooh. and quarterly live streams. Nice! Wow, that was really good. I thought I was going to stump you, but you've like just got you've got a document open. You sound like a paper <laughs> so boy. You're like ready, ready for anything. All right, tell us, tell us that you were a paper boy. It's so funny that you remember me telling you that because I've never told you that because I've never. <laughs> The only thing I've ever delivered was a Mythical Society promo. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could have sworn it. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember what you're talking about. It must have been, okay. So. Okay, crap, what are you? Wait, did you, um, yeah. is it pickup sticks? Come sail away with me, all the way to the fast Asian cuisine of pickup sticks. Yeah, Dang, you where? were a sticks man. You, yeah. you man. tricked us. So, I'm sorry. That. All right, so are we giving Paperboy to Greg now? Okay, uh, sure. Yeah, I don't know what to think. Okay, Jenna, are we right about the hot dogs? You are right. Yes. <laughs> Had you told us this? I don't think, I don't I've, think I've told you this, mm. no. But yeah, I, I, sold hot, I sold hot dogs at University of Tennessee football games. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Uh, were you successful? I was. I, I made about thirty bucks a game, which early two thousands was good money. What would you, <laughs> What was your call? Like, what would you yell? Oh yeah. I, uh, hot dogs. Get your hot dogs. You pretty basic, you know. I mean, I didn't do too much. Put too much effort into it. It doesn't it, sound like it. Took a, took a lot, walking took so much effort. So many stairs. Oh boy. So, you only made thirty dollars. I mean, I for a 13 year old girl, I mean, that's in the early 2000s. Yeah, that's good money. Okay. Uh, I mean, I got I got like 35 or 40 dollars to mow a lawn. That only took an hour and 15 well, quit minutes. We're bragging. All right, Fancher, we're saying you were the uh, treasure hunter. Extra, extra, read all about it. Oh, oh man, you were the paper boy. Paper boys don't say that, do they? No, I mean, they do in they like used the to. 40s. They, they used to. Did you say that when you. I did. I'm also one of the oldest crew. Chris wouldn't know because his dad did all the paper boys. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> your dad. Your, your, so your, your, your dad, uh, he, he was a perfectionist, huh? He absolutely was, yes. Okay, yeah. It's, uh, ask any of my kids. It's, it's tough, to, tough, to, tough to live in, in the home of a father perfectionist. I feel for you, Chris. He was good at everything he did. And, and he, does. And he demanded it of you. And when you couldn't yeah. deliver, literally, he would do it for you. 100%. Now, are, okay. you a, are you a newspaper reader to this day? I didn't mean to make this happen. Oh, yes. Yep. I have um, paid uh, subscriptions to things, so I get the highest quality news I can. <laughs> wow. Okay, so like when you stay at one of those hotels where they put a newspaper out in front of your room, you actually take it and read it. Uh, yeah, yes, but mostly for like the crossword. Okay, <laughs> you know what? Honest. You know what, Chris? I have to say this to myself all the time, and um, maybe it'll be helpful for you. But perfection is an illusion. Mm. Don't I deliver feel like the papers. In the early '90s, there were a couple of. Movies I'm projecting, Chris. I'm sorry. That depicted paper boys like on their bikes. Newsies. Not newsies. Like it seemed like when I was a kid, that was a cool job. Like it oh, seemed yeah. like the cool kids were paper boys. It was a cool job for it, sure. Well, it was a cool video game. <laughs> yeah, the NES, one of the most popular games, was paper boy. Yep. You had to really time that. Paper throw. Could break windows. That's pretty much the only point of the game. Could you run over a dog with your bike? Can't remember. Yeah. I think more the dog would kind of run over you. But All that, right. That was a bad thing. Um, so we've got our mystery man, Devante. 
Treasure hunter or mail carrier? I feel I still feel good about where we're at right now. Devontae, were you a mail carrier? Yes, I was. Oh, oh yeah. So <laughs> how long did you do that? For just about a year. I mean, it, you said, I mean, you kind of highlighted all the negative aspects of it. Is Was there anything positive to say about it? Um, I'm pretty introverted, so it was nice to just be out there by myself. Yeah, you could like, but but then it seems like you had to have the same interactions with people every day. Did you did you do anything to minimize those interactions, like try to try to sneak up when you when you knew they weren't going to be there? Uh, no, not really. I I just try to get through it every day. What was your technique for larger packages? Was it like? Get like shove it, it and wedge it. What? Yeah. Was it or like toss it and place? Leave it. Was it drop from six inches above the ground? Was it like I'm gonna put it on the bottom step? I'm gonna go all the way to the top step because there's no consistency amongst delivery people. Let me just say that mm -hmm. in my experience. So what? What was your philosophy? It kind of depends on how I felt. <laughs> it's there, okay. There you go. You just explain it. It depends yeah. on how you feel. Right. Okay. It's 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 physically arduous. So it was like if I was too tired, then maybe I'll check it from a few feet. <laughs> what I mean, if we do, I mean, you got me in my own head about my mail carrier now. When when I have an opportunity to have an exchange with my mail carrier, don't make mail jokes. What 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 is the best thing to do? Just give them like a water or a Gatorade. Oh really? Oh, give them a water. Like a yeah. water Gatorade. They won't think you were trying to poison them. I mean, no, because it, Cassie I, plays basketball with our our male guy, and he's had many a liquid death. Let me tell you, that which is just right. water. Just, just it's just, just water. It's just, just water. A brand of water. He's drowned multiple yeah. times. <laughs> All right, Devontae. Do you guys think Carl Malone ever played basketball with his mailman? Oh, that would have been that. Mm, wow. Yes, yeah, right. You know, Scotty Pippen one time in the playoff game. He also game, had a rig. On Sunday, Scotty, when Scotty Pippen scored on Malone, he said, the mailman don't li don't deliver on Sunday. Ha, ha, ha. One of the best lines in basketball history. Um, in a very deep voice. Yeah, right. All right, Greg, that leaves you hunting for treasure, right? Yeah, now you're right. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. do you have you like reframed what you have done at different points in your life as to make it seem more adventurous? Like, how do you describe what you do now? I mean, now I just make silly videos for the internet. But back then I was a very gullible child who needed to be tricked into doing things. Oh. oh, so you're saying that you are willingly working for us. Yes. Okay, good. Great. All right. Yes. So we can, all right, so you don't need a, you don't need a title like Mr. Fun Times. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do like a colon at the end of my title, I'll take it. Okay, colon Mr. Fun Time, but not like Mr. A fun like Time. Colon emoji? <laughs> like, what does that even look like? Like, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Fun Colon Times. <laughs> fun Colon Times. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for participating. Good to get to know you. See you later. The reason I like the breast is because I can take this giant piece of meat, this uniform meat, and just rip it out and just eat it. And it was that's, like that's the chicken tender. It was it was a tender, and it was dripping with juice as I pulled it out, like.